Hey everyone, Fear Crawler here. Welcome to the video. I was just about to carve my pumpkin for Halloween. Which brings me to my first tip. Always shop for these things early. I mean, this was literally all they had. Halloween always makes me think of romance. Kinda like in today's story. Have a listen to this one while I work on carving my pumpkin here. Enjoy. Has anyone ever told you that Halloween was bad luck? I'm sure you've heard it a hundred times, if not more. I don't know what it is, but there seems to be this stigma about Halloween and bad luck going hand in hand. I didn't used to believe that, but I guess after the horrible night I had, I'm a believer myself. Let me explain. I'm not usually one for blind dates, but after spending the last two years being completely single and unattached, I decided to give it a go. I mean, what's the harm, right? I really love the fall season, so I decided to have this date on Halloween. I guess my logic was that since a lot of people were going to be out trick-or-treating, everything would be pretty much empty. I decided that before I picked my date up, I should probably bring her something. A small gift. I mean, I had seen it done in the movies a hundred times, so what was the harm, right? I stopped at one of the stores and went to get her a box of candy. But since it was Halloween, almost everything was completely sold out. That was my first mistake. Shopping at the last minute. The only thing that I could find was an old heart-shaped box of Valentine's Day candy hidden on one of the shelves behind some stuffed animals. I guess I was pretty desperate, so I grabbed it. I hurried back to my car and went to pick up my date. And this was my second mistake. I had spent so much time at the store looking for a box of candy that I was 10 minutes late. You're never supposed to do that. You're never supposed to ever keep a lady waiting. The date hadn't even started yet and I was already blowing it. I was already feeling like such an idiot when I went to pick her up. After I got her into the car, I thought it would be a good idea to try to compliment her dress. It was actually quite pretty, and she looked very stunning in it. I told her how pretty I thought she looked, but I got no response. Just this cold, vacant stare on her face. I figured since that wasn't working, I should try the candy. I thought I would play it smooth and set it on her lap and just see what her reaction was. I didn't realize that the plastic on the cover had actually been torn, and when I placed it on her lap, the chocolates proceeded to spill everywhere on the floor of the car. I apologized profusely, of course, feeling like an absolute idiot. I figured the best thing I could do at this point was just keep my mouth shut and drive to the restaurant. Which brings me to my third mistake. I didn't make reservations for that night. I figured everything would be empty because it was Halloween and no one would be going out to dinner. But I was mistaken. The first restaurant I stopped at, I went inside first to have a look at how busy it was. And of course the place was packed. I found another nice restaurant just down the road, and again it was the same story. I went inside to gauge the situation, and it was packed as well. There were a lot more people out that night than I had anticipated. I must have driven at least another 20 or 30 minutes before I finally stumbled upon a restaurant that didn't look that busy, and I figured we could eat at. Unfortunately, it wasn't the fanciest of places, but I was starting to run out of options. When we sat down to eat, everyone kept staring at us. I couldn't really tell at first what they were all looking at, but everyone was giving us these awkward stares. It certainly couldn't be her. I mean, she looked gorgeous. I excused myself to the restroom and gave myself a quick look over in the bathroom mirror. And that was when I noticed it. Not only had I forgotten to tuck my shirt in, but there was also a huge stain on it. I tried washing it off in the sink, but... It was no good. The stain was pretty badly set, and I was wearing a white shirt which made it even more obvious. My fly was also open. Talk about embarrassing. I have to confess at this point, I actually don't know how to tie a necktie, so I just wore a clip-on. And yet somehow I managed to wear the darn thing crooked. I tried frantically to at least make it look somewhat straight while adjusting it in the bathroom mirror. And as I was fidgeting with it, 
the clip on it actually snapped. So now not only did I have a stain on my shirt, I also had a broken tie that I couldn't wear. <sighs> Could this night possibly get any worse? I went back to my date and everyone was still staring, which brings me to my next mistake. I had been in the bathroom for a very long time and I had kept her waiting again. I tried to apologize to her again, but I could tell I was starting to make a scene because people started shouting at us to leave. A few people got so mad at me they started threatening to call the cops. I had made an absolute fool of myself, and by this point I was just ready to give up. We went back to the car and I just drove around with her for a while. She stayed completely silent the whole time. I could tell I had ruined her night. I felt like a complete moron. This was without a doubt the single worst date I've ever been on, and everything that went wrong was my fault. I felt really bad for her, so I decided the best thing I could do at that point was just drop her off and say goodnight. We got back and I made a failed attempt at small talk. It was pretty clear that she just wanted the night to be over. So I dropped her off, closed the door, and that was it. I knew I was never going to see her again, and I'm sure she was fine with that. Now call me crazy for doing this, but since it was still pretty early, I decided I was going to give this another try, but not with her. Someone else. Someone random. I began walking around and making my selection, and I finally settled on one. Jennifer. Nice name. She was around my age, too. Well, only one thing left to do at that point. Start digging. Well, I certainly hope you could dig that story. <laughs> Nothing? Huh. Well, I'm gonna get back to carving my pumpkin here. So until next time, everyone take care, be safe, and above all, stay scared. <laughs>